Hi everyone. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at another great new audio tool available in Pro Show 6, Volume Control Points. Now, I'll be working with Pro Show Gold, but everything you'll see is the exact same in Pro Show Producer. So, first of all, what are volume control points? Volume control points are simply points in an audio track where volume changes happen. Now, we can use these points to control when a song plays at full volume or when it fades to a lower volume. Okay, so here we have a typical show with some images and one audio track. To add volume control points, first, I need to switch over to the timeline view. Now, I can do that by either clicking this tab or by pressing the tab key on my keyboard. Now, I can start adding control points right away, but before I do, I want to take advantage of another new feature in Pro Show 6. I'm going to expand the timeline view to get a better look at my audio track. Just grab the top edge of the slide list, then click and drag upward. Now this gives me a lot more room to work with, which will really help me better identify where I want to add my points. There are several ways I can add control points. On the waveform, I'll find the spot where I want to add a new point and right click. Now from the menu that appears, I'll select Add Volume Point. I can also use these tools that appear as I hover over the timeline. Click the plus button, then click on the waveform to add a control point. Now finally, there's the fastest way to add a new point. Hold the Alt key on your keyboard, then click on the waveform. Now once added, I can click and drag control points to adjust where the volume change will happen. Moving the point up or down controls the volume for that point. If I want to set volume manually, I can right click on the control point and use the adjust option. When I have two points that I want to line up so that they have the exact same values, I can right click, then set the volume to match either the left or right neighbor point. To remove a volume control point, I can right click on the point or select a point and click the minus button over here on the right. I can also completely reset this track and remove all volume control points by right clicking on any part of the track and choosing reset volume points. Now that we have a clean slate again, let's see how we can use these in a show. Okay, for this show, I want my audience to focus on these two slides. And I think the best way to do that will be to lower my soundtrack volume while these two slides are on screen. Now first, notice on the waveform there's already a control point at the start of my show. Now this is added by default when you have any sound in your soundtrack. Now on the waveform, I'll hold down the Alt key, then click right here where my slide begins. Now you can see the volume changes happening between the start of my show and this new point. Now that's not what I want to happen. I want the soundtrack for these first slides to play at full volume. So I need to make some adjustments and add a few more control points. First, I'm going to change this point that I just added and match it to the point at the beginning of my show. To do that, I'll right click on the control point and choose set volume as left neighbor. To lower the volume while my slides play, I'll once again hold the Alt key, then click right about here. Now, I can see that as my first featured slide begins, the volume drops from 100% to around 30%. If I want to adjust that volume, I can click and drag the control point, or I can right click on the control point and use the adjust option. Now, once again, I can see the volume of the rest of my show is still being affected, so I need to add some more control points. Now, let's add a new one right here where my second slide ends. Notice, I don't need to click on the actual waveform. I can click anywhere in the timeline view area to create the new point. Now, in the waveform, I can see the volume increases as these two slides play. So, once again, we'll right-click then set volume as left neighbor. 
To bring my soundtrack back up to full volume, I need one more control point. So I'll press the Alt key, then click right on the blue control border. This should get my soundtrack volume back up to 100%. Now let's add some final touches. I'm going to click and drag these points so that my change in volume is both more gradual and also lines up better with my transitions. Now, as the show plays, the soundtrack will decrease as both these slides are on the screen, then return to full volume. Now this is a very basic example, but it helps demonstrate just how much control you have over soundtrack volume using volume control points. But keep in mind, this is a tool that takes a little bit of effort. So before adding volume control points to your shows, consider the following. Often, the goal of volume control is to have the soundtrack fade out while some other sound plays, such as a narration, a sound effect, or the audio from a video clip. Instead of using volume control points, keep in mind that ProShow will adjust the soundtrack volume automatically when other sounds are detected. You can fine-tune that behavior under the soundtrack settings in Show Options. When using volume control points is the best option for your show, always add them last. Control points often require precision timing adjustments, and any changes to your show can have a negative impact on the custom volume controls you apply. So as part of your show creation workflow, be sure you are 100% happy with how your show looks first before adding any custom volume changes. That's it for this lesson, but there are many more new features to discover in ProShow 6. Be sure to visit our blog or check out our YouTube channel for even more helpful tips.